how can you start saving or deferring your tax liability um, down the road? And so I'm going to give you some ideas here um, and, uh, and explain a little bit in detail what those are, um, some different strategies you can put in place, and how soon you need to do them. So let's rock. All right. So you're an employee, you got a J-O-B, uh, you're a W-2 employee, you work for a company, and let's say um, they offer a 401k plan. Well, first of all, what is that, a 401k plan? Um, a 401k plan was created by uh, the IRS for you to save for retirement. So uh, typical retirement age is 65. Um, for me, I'm 51. So I'm probably looking at 57 when it comes to Social Security benefits or full Social Security benefits. Um, and so the 401k is a way for you to defer um, money into a deferred, uh, basically, retirement account. Uh, you can invest it into the markets, bond, uh, international equities and international bonds uh, and uh, stocks or equity, you know, stocks, uh, both domestic and, and U.S. Most retirement plans um, are pretty offer a well diversified selection of investments. The most common um, investment selection now, or investment tool that you have available to you now is a what they call a target date fund. And a target date fund allows you to start putting money in to a diversified portfolio, actively managed by a group of professionals. Um, you're diversified between large cap, mid cap, small cap, growth and value, international and bonds. And the way they structure them is based on your projected retirement date. So if, so for instance, I'm 51, um, let's say my projected uh, retirement year is 2035. And so, uh, you know, I'm more aggressive today in 2020. And as I get closer to 2035, it becomes more and more conservative. It's a do it for me, plug and play, don't worry about it approach. Now, majority of 401k plans that uh, we manage, or all the 401ks plans we manage, but most of the 401k plans out there, you can also build your own portfolios within them. Um, typically, uh, m most 401k plans, when you make a trade, you don't pay a trading cost. Um, you do have to take into account the uh, type of share class that uh, mutual, those mutual funds are. Um, if you have the ability to have a self-directed account, what that means is it falls under the 401k umbrella, but you're able to possibly buy more individual stocks, bonds, and that kind of thing. So more diversification. It gets a little complicated, but I'm trying to keep this simple. And if you have questions, you want to get into the weeds on this, just reach out to me. So anyways, 401k, I can defer up to, if I'm under the age of 50, I can defer up to $19,500 this year, okay, in 2020. If I'm over 50, like I am, I can do a $19,500 uh, uh, contributions uh, and also do a catch up of $6,500. Uh, so a total of, uh, what is that, 26,000 bucks, right? Sweet, right? That's a, if you can do that, uh, then awesome, do it. Um, the other element of a 401k plan is, is if, if your company does a profit sharing uh, contribution. And in that case, um, they, they can contribute up to $57,000 uh, if you're under the age of 50. You're, if you're doing that catch up of 6,500, that adds uh, another $6,500 uh, to the 57, so you have 63,500 uh, on that. Um, so if, if you are in a 401k plan and you can contribute to it, do it, okay? Um, they're great. Uh, here's a couple uh, things you need to know about the 401ks. Uh, they are typically, um, well, no, they're not typically. Um, if you contribute, they are. Uh, they don't want you to take the money out until after age 59 and a half, uh, which at that point in a traditional 401k plan, you will then pay uh, ordinary income taxes on the money you pull out uh, so the money you put in, you haven't paid taxes on because you're, you're contributing off your gross check. Um, and then uh, from there, um, you, so you contributed and you're, let's say you're 65, you're retired, you start pulling money out 
on the contributions, you're gonna pay ordinary income taxes, and on the gains, you're gonna pay ordinary income taxes, okay? So, uh, so just take into account that whatever you take out of that 401k in retirement, you will pay ordinary tradi on traditional 401k, ordinary income tax rates on it, okay? Got it? All right. Now, if you pull out the money prior to 59 and a half, you are going to uh, pay a 10% penalty plus ordinary income taxes on that. So don't look at your 401k as a savings account or a go-to uh, account to buy a, a new boat or new 28-inch rims on your car. Um, unfortunately, I see a lot of people use it that way. And it just tells me they're going to end up working for probably their entire life or just really not living a retirement that they really had envisioned. Now, there is another version of 401k, which most plans have today, and that is the Roth 401k. If you're younger, um, I like this. If you're older and, you're, and you don't want to pay taxes in retirement, I like this. In general, I just like it. What the Roth 401k is, is that you pay, you make a contribution, same limits, 19.5, over 50, you can do a catch up of 6,500, okay? So when you put that money into the plan, you are going to pay taxes today on it. The day you, you put it in the plan, you pay taxes today. But here's a sweet spot. When you retire and you pull taxes out of the, 401, the Roth 401k plan, you pay no taxes on what you put in and the gains. Let me repeat that. You do not pay taxes on what the, you put in or the gains that you have accumulated, okay? The, one of the biggest expenses in retirement, number one, healthcare. Number two, taxes. They gotta get you one way or another right? You know, real estate taxes or, you know, uh, uh, yeah, real estate taxes. Uh, you go to the grocery store, you pay taxes. You go to the gas station, you pay taxes. You pay taxes, you pay taxes. If you can minimize your tax, biggest tax in retirement, that being your income, the Roth 401k is a great way of doing it, okay? So if you're young and you're starting out, you pay the taxes today, and if Biden, chances are, if you make below, I believe if Biden's, you know, where he's going to go after everybody's throat on taxes is at 400K or more, and whatever. We'll see how that works out, right? Um, but if you can contribute to a Roth and max out the Roth 401K, you're going to live a pretty sweet retirement. Down, you know, you're going to live a pretty sweet retirement. So here's a little caveat, a little, a little thing I want to throw in here too. If you are 55 or older and you leave your 401k at the company and you have separated from service you can take distributions from that as if you were 59 and a half or older so you just pay if it is in a traditional you pay the ordinary income uh, tax rates on that as long as you keep it at the plan you don't roll it to an IRA you don't roll it to a Roth IRA, you roll it, you just keep it in the retirement plan. You can take distributions at 55 or older. So you can take it, you know, basically four and a half years old uh, before that penalty. A lot of people don't know that, but that for those who have accumulated the assets to retire early, that may be something to think about. Reach out to me if you have more additional questions, we can get in the weeds on it and create strategies, what have you. All right, so you're self-employed or you own your own business and you're a sole practitioner, what are your options? Well, you can do what is called a solo 401k, all right? All the limits that you have on a, uh, tr a corporate 401k, if you were a, a, an employee of a company, apply. So I'm a sole practitioner, right? I, I'm incorporated as an S corp, I can have a 401k, and in that 401k, um, I can uh, contribute um, because I'm over the age of 50, uh, 26k. But I also can do a profit sharing contribution. Okay. And what was that high end number? So if I max out my full 
contribution at um, 19,500 plus my catch up at 6,500. Um, I can then do a uh, profit sharing uh, contribution and that is a total of $63,500. Okay, who qualifies? You're a sole practitioner. Um, you have a spouse that works with you. So you and your spouse uh, fall under the solo K umbrella. Um, as long as you keep it that way, you don't fall under a reporting um, regulation or ERISA guidelines. Um, once you start on handing or uh, applying, or excuse me, not applying, bringing on employees and adding them to the 401k, totally different ball game becomes a really complicated situation. So for instance, I had a buddy of mine from high school calls me, he's doing a, he wants to catch up on his retirement um, and he wants, he's making, he's making bank, right? And uh, so we're setting, we set up a solo 401k. He and his wife are both contributing uh, the 195. Um, they're both uh, over the age of 50, so an initial 6,500. And he believes he can probably do a profit sharing contribution for each of them. Okay, so that's a total. If he maxes it out for both of them, that's 63,500 times two. Boom! Do that for 10 years. Do that for 15 years. That's healthy, right? Um, he can do both a Roth or the traditional 401k, whichever he wants to do. Um, but this is a really great way to really start saving on taxes and take care of your retirement in the meantime, you know? Uh, this is a really good way of doing it. It's not complicated. Um, be careful of who you go to and ask about this because my, my buddy who came to me, he went to his bank, his bank is like, you don't need to do a solo, okay? Do an annuity. Um, the only guy who's going to win on that annuity is is his banker. Um, I don't know if I can say that, but I did. Uh, so anyhow, my whole point of this is, is understand how the guy gets paid, uh, the guy you work with, work, work with. solo Ks are awesome. Um, there are a couple other different uh, uh, retirement plans that you can do, but if you're a sole practitioner um, or you're a husband wife team and you're incorporated, solo 401k is pretty brilliant. Um, it's hard to pass up. So I think I've covered a lot today. Um, there's a whole lot more um, looking at, I, I think in future videos, I'm going to hit upon LLCs and how those could work as a investment vehicle. Um, and talk a little bit about uh, some other uh, retirement type plans uh, that small companies can use. But today, I think that's it. I think I've maybe melted your brain at this point. In the meantime, if you got questions, just reach out to me. Contact information's uh, down below. In the meantime, dude, do your homework, work hard, and most importantly, live loud. Peace.